Hi guys, it's Marty here, and in this video we're going to be testing the Smoosh plugin for WordPress to see how effective it is. This is a plugin that we can use to speed up our website by compressing our image files down to a much lower size, and without losing any of the image quality. So I'm going to test the speed of my demo website before and after using the plugin to compare the different times. And then after that, I'm going to upgrade the plugin and retest my site speed so we can see the difference between the free and pro versions of the Smoosh plugin. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using this demo website for the example. It has 12 posts, 4 pages, and 31 images in the media library. And the first thing we're going to do is test our current site speed so we can see the difference the Smoosh plugin makes. And I'm going to be using the free speed test over at pingdom.com. Now, these online speed tests are never perfect, but they're good to get a rough idea of our site's loading times. So, according to this, my site's loading up in 2.69 seconds. And then to get a more accurate number, I'm going to do this a total of 5 times. And this gives us an average speed of 2.63 seconds. Which isn't great, it's not the worst, but it definitely could be better. Then if we scroll down, we can see that images account for around 93% of the content on my site, and take up 2.3 megabytes of space. And now that we know our current site speed, we can install the Smoosh plugin. To do this, we just need to visit our site's dashboard, hover over Plugins on the left, and click Add New. Then we're going to type Smoosh into the search bar in the top right, and install and activate this plugin by WPMU Dev. Once the plugin's active on our site, we can hover over where it now says Smoosh on the left, and click Bulk Smoosh. Then we're going to click Recheck Images in the top right, and once it's done we can click Bulk Smoosh on the right. This process can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how many images we have uploaded. And once it's finished we'll be shown our results. So according to this we've saved 756 kilobytes of space, which is a saving of around 5%. And then if we go back to Pingdom we can retest our site speed. So I'm going to choose the same country as before and run the test. And the first result is 1.74 seconds. Then if we retest it another 4 times, we get an average speed of 1.68 seconds, which is almost a full second less than before. This means by simply installing and running the free Smoosh plugin, I've managed to improve my site speed by around 36%, which is awesome. Now, you might be thinking one second doesn't sound like a whole lot, but according to a study done by Kissmetrics, a one second delay in page load time can result in 11% fewer page views, and a 7% loss in conversions. So a single second really can make all the difference. Now this is totally optional, but there's also a pro version of the Smoosh plugin. I've already purchased the upgrade, so I'm going to activate the pro version now, and we can put it to the test and compare the numbers. So once we've got the pro version installed, we're going to hover over where it now says Smoosh Pro on the left, and click Bulk Smoosh. On this page we need to scroll down, and turn on the switch beside where it says Super Smoosh. Then scroll down to the bottom, and click Save Changes. Once we've done that we can scroll back up, and click Recheck Images in the top right. And then click Bulk Smoosh on the right. Once again, this process can take a few minutes depending on how many images we have. And once it's done we'll be shown our results, which now say that we've managed to save around 4.4 megabytes of space, or around 29.9%. 
and this is a much higher saving than before. Now, you might have noticed that on Pingdom it said I only had 2.3 megabytes of images total, and then here it's saying we've saved almost double that number. And this is because WordPress auto-generates a bunch of different image sizes for each image we upload, but Pingdom's only counting the images that are actually live on our site, as these are the only ones that'll affect our loading times. And now that we have our results, we can head back over to Pingdom to retest our site speed. I'm going to choose the same country as before, and run the test. And as we can see, my first result is 1.51 seconds. Then I'm going to run the test another 4 times, which gives us an average time of 1.46 seconds. So down another 0.22 seconds. And if we scroll down, we can see that images now only account for 90% of the content, instead of 93, and take up 1.4 megabytes, compared to the original 2.3. So just to recap, when we first tested this site, we had an initial loading time of 2.63 seconds, then with the free version of the Smoosh plugin, we managed to get it down 36%, to a loading time of 1.68 seconds. And then after we ran the pro version of the plugin, we got it down another 13%, and now our site's loading up in 1.46 seconds. And just in case you're wondering if our images will look any different after compressing them, here's a comparison between all three versions. And as we can see, there's no visible quality loss between them. So after running these tests and looking at the numbers, I would definitely recommend using either the free or pro version of the Smoosh plugin on your WordPress site. Currently upgrading to the Pro version costs $5 a month if paid yearly, and 6 if paid monthly. And they also have a 7 day free trial, plus you can get 20% off using the discount link in the description below. So that's us now at the end of this video, and I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please give it a like to show your support, and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress tutorials in future. Once again, my name's Marty, and thank you very much for watching my video.